Hey, Pro Dumpster Diver back at it again. Haven't been here in a while, but today is a pretty good day. It's a pretty quick day, but we got to do about five things today, all right? So we're going to go over this and go over a few things right now, okay? Now, most of you already know what these are. These basically are car starters, so if your battery fails, you can basically buy one of these uh, possibly for between 50 to 300 bucks. They have some very advanced ones. I picked this one up today. I saw the sticker coming off of it, so I realized it's possible that this may be old. So I press the light button. The light goes on and everything like that. I press the air button, but it appears that there's not enough charge in the battery to actually get it going and this is there however it has a slot down there to actually plug it in and charge it which is good right on the side there so you can plug it into a wall now i love these ones here because they're very compact it has the air part to charge it up to put air in your tires which is good i love the fact they have the gauges and the light still works so this might need a charge which is good I have this one here I actually picked up today. So again, this 1000 one is similar to the other 900 one that I have. They're all similar, but I'm seeing more and more people throw these out. To be honest, I don't know why. I picked this one up today for free. This one was charging the phone. If I press the button to shut the USB port off, I press the battery status, it's got two. Okay, now again, it still has some power. So what I do to do a quick check is I press the light to see if the light works because it uses less electricity. And the light works, the light comes on, it's a double push, okay? If I wanna go ahead and actually do the jump, I can flip this one there and actually jump it. Now, most of these have the part for the air, okay? So actually, I believe all of these have something for the actual air, okay? This one also has one in the back. So if I press the button for this, it should go on, the light should go on in here, and it goes on, okay? Now, to check to see if it does work, what you do is you press your thumb to this and see if the gauge goes up, all right? So we're gonna do that now. Press it, see the gauge go up. There we go. All right, so now that's very, very good. This is one I am gonna keep inside of the house right now. There are things called rolling power outages, so I do wanna have this. People are throwing this stuff away all the time, but I'm gonna get into a key thing. And I saw this one here it was a bit old, uh, this one practically doesn't work anymore, but I'm going to tell you why I'm keeping it and I'm keeping this one here Which is the one I'm dismantling right now. Okay, so let's go over this I got two more glass shelves. I picked up very thin, which is good uh, This here right now actually has wheels under it So I can actually use this as a little dolly to move things all around the house now Here's the problem see these screws here I gotta take these screws out. I gotta drill these out right now. It's very, very important that I do that because I don't wanna end up running into any issues. This is just in the dumpster, so I don't wanna get stabbed by that there. Got a flat TV here. This one actually works. It does have some drywall, so I guess someone was, it's very clean though. It doesn't really have any damage on it. No oxidation, I plugged it in. It works, it's very good. It's got speakers on the bottom, HDMI and AV, so it's very good. This here is an easel. Okay, so let me take this up right now. This is a very nice easel from Chart Pack, and I pulled it out. It has these push ones here, so you can actually extend the legs, which are very, very good. And this will actually be able to hold up an art project, maybe if you're going to a fair or something like that. So this is good to basically advertise a post or anything there, okay? Now, I was watching Canadian Prepper and CD Prepping, a few other people there, and everyone's talking about ways to power everything. So it's good to have one of these two jumper pieces here. I am gonna charge this one when I get home. I'm gonna keep this one there to see how long that works. What I'm gonna do also is to take an inverter and attach it to see if it basically works as well, if it can charge a laptop battery. Now, another thing I have is that what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to take this apart here, okay, because I really don't need this one there. It doesn't have that much power in it at all. You know, it's not very good. So I'm going to take it apart. And what this is, is this is a charging station, okay? If you can look at this, you can plug this into the wall. And what it does is that it will charge the battery. So if I take this apart and I just hook this circuitry up to the wall and put several batteries like this in series going down, I can flip a switch and charge all of those batteries simultaneously and actually have a wall of power. 
which is good. So I can press it for the USB to charge my phone. I can always press the battery status to see how it actually is. This one obviously is a low battery. Also, the good part is if I need to pump anything up in the house to give me air for anything like that, I can basically use this. Now, I don't believe this one actually works. Yeah, this one, the air part doesn't work, so I'm gonna clip the wires for that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna screw it out, I'm gonna take it apart, and I'm going to put sticky notes on the wires so I know where to actually properly hook it up. I don't need to use the jump jack for anything, so I'll cut those parts out. All I really need is the USB part here, this 12 volt piece, if I do need that there, okay? The USB button to turn it on, okay? And then the battery status that will actually, I can hook that up to each. I might actually use these clips on different branch nodes to tell me how much voltage the battery has to tell me if it's good or not. Okay. Now, definitely you want to have that because just having one of these, again, is good. But you, you don't know how long you're going to be in an outage. You might be in there for two weeks and you might have a couple batteries that are just laying around that you can charge. So I'm also going to get the amperage and the charger of this battery in here to tell me everything that I basically need to properly hook this up. All right, so I'm gonna take this apart and I'll use the circuitry of that to charge a couple other batteries similar to it. All right, this is basically it. I am gonna keep these two, but I'm gonna take this one apart and do the same labeling as well because the battery size for this may be different from that other one there, okay? So today is a pretty good day. I like these there because it's not just getting stuff that you can sell, it's getting things you can use. Okay, this is very, very important. The battery inside of this is probably pretty big, okay? But I do wanna take it apart and clean it. Some of them may have water damage. Some of the, you never know, you never know. So you wanna clean them, make sure they're good. I'm gonna clean the TV, bring that sucker home, and we'll basically see what's going on there. All right, I hope you guys are having a good day, but remember, everything you see can be used for something. Basically, I got a free TV right now. Now this might be, what is it, 20 inches across? Let me see something here. Oh, I gotta check this out. It's a Vizio. Now, Vizio may be name brand. Let's see what this is. Vizio 36 Tesla Irvine. It doesn't tell me the inches across. I'll look up the model number D24HJ09. I'll look that up when I get some time, okay? But again, I love the fact that this, plug it is straight in so I don't have to constantly look for a power cord. It's got the HDMI ports in here and then it's got AV. So if I wanna hook this up to an older Xbox and a headphone jack, I like this. I'm gonna get an extension so I can actually, this is, I like this, man, I like this. This is pretty, see this is some of the highlights of the stuff I basically love. I can always go back to these videos and find some care in what I've done right now. But this is probably, what, 20 inches maybe? maybe 20 inches that's nice man i like that i'm gonna take that home because when i have <laughs> when i have gotta go when i have gotta go all right guys pro dumpster thousand thousand p camps pro dumpster diver 